there and welcome to my cooking class. My name is Jacqueline and I'm here to show you how to make a meal in minutes that's very cost effective but flavorful. Today we're going to feature our brand new product which is the Italian meatballs. Here's a fun food fact. Did you know that meatballs didn't actually originate in Italy? Go figure. So how did we get Italian meatballs? Well, where did they originate from? Well, we don't really know, but it's believed to come from Persia. They have the kaftas, which are the meat that was on a stick. And of course, that in being very close to Italy, it sort of migrated across over to the Americas in the early 19th, 20th century. And of course, Italians, they always make it better, do they not? So we have decided to create a product called the Italian Meatball, which has a lot of seasoning and great flavor. And we put all the thinking in the package already. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just follow the recipe on the back. Of course, I'm not a big fan of beef or pork, personal preference only. So it uh, just depends on what you want to do. But you need to get a pound of protein. So I'm going to add the entire package. Mm, yum. I'm going to read the ingredients as soon as I dump this in. So what is in this lovely package, seeing you're not here to taste it? Well, you'll notice that there's a breader in here. Let me show you that. So a crispy and crunchy coating that you may be familiar with already, this is actually put right in here. So this is a gluten-free binder for your meatballs. Love it because it's got flavor. It's got um, raisin juice. So a little bit of sweetness, all natural of course. We've got, uh, let me see, sea salt, onion, parsley, black pepper, basil, oregano, thyme, all those yummy, yummy flavors that you love. So now that we've got this in, the package also says, because we've got the, of course, the breader in there and we need to have moisture, we're going to add a little bit of milk of your choice. And we're also going to crack an egg. Now the recipe, you know me, I never follow recipes. Um, and because I'm using chicken, which tends to bind anyway, I'm not going to use two eggs, I'm only going to use one, okay? So up to you, because you're the cook. You get to decide and have liberty on what you're going or how you're going to make this. Let me just grab my whisk. It's one egg. So we're going to put our seasoning with our meat, our egg, my milk, and a little Parmesan cheese, of course, because it's Italian. We're gonna put in some freshly grated Parmesan in there, but you can already taste the flavors in your mouth. And now we're going to get ready to do some mixing. I'm going to use our saute spoon just to get this mixed up. I know that with this protein, if I stick my fingers in here, I'm just gonna have a sticky, sticky, icky, gooey mess, which is why I've got the gloves on today. It's when I usually make meatballs, I do tend to uh, put on gloves because I just find it sticks everywhere. And of course, it is going to bind really nicely because we've got that breader already in here and then of course the eggs. So we're just going to, like I said, I've got this scoop if you happen to have it. We're just going to shape it in a ball. So let me continue on and then we'll pop this into the oven. Have them cook for about 12 minutes. While that's cooking, I wanted to make meatballs with our brand new rosé sauce. Oh yes, this is, rosé tends to be that creamy tomato sauce that's so delicious. So it's not as sharp as a regular tomato sauce. And of course, it's not creamy, creamy like a white sauce. It's the perfect in between. So how we're gonna do this, the instructions are on the back of the package. It actually gives you two options. Option number one is to do it on the stove. Option number two is to do it in the microwave. I'm doing it in the microwave and I'm doing it in a round steamer 
for the simple fact that I'm going to pull out those meatballs in about 10 minutes. I'm going to put them in the sauce in here. I'm going to toss them a little bit and I'm going to throw it in the oven and I'm going to finish it off baking it. So I'm just going to make sure that the flavors come together. The meatballs will be already cooked. The rosé sauce will have already been set up and it's just now marrying the two. Now we'll put it right into the round steamer. If you don't have the round steamer, you'll need the large capacity multi-purpose steamer as well. Um, then it says you can put it in the microwave. Well, I'm putting it, of course, in the steamer with um, a little bit of milk, one and a half cups of milk and some tomato paste. Got my saute spoon, only took me a minute to find it. So we've got our milk. You can use any milk you want. I have oat milk here. I've just warmed it up a little bit, heated it in the microwave just to make sure that it um, mixes easier. I find that if you have milk that's at room temperature or just slightly warmed, it tends to emulsify a little bit better. How easy is this? Now our rosé sauce normally is is an uncomplicated sauce. It, it's re a really easy sauce to make and I'm going to tell you, you could make this from scratch, but again, the value of purchasing these Epicure products is the fact that we put all the seasoning in there for you. So you're not having to go to the grocery store, buy all these spices and then try to figure out measuring you know quarter teaspoon of this half a teaspoon of that eighth of a teaspoon here and there and the other the other place so the ingredients that this has of course it's got cheddar cheese in it so if you're dairy intolerant this is probably not for you it's got parmesan cheese in it as well plus it's got onion tomato garlic cornstarch for thickener tomato powder um, salt sea salt, basil, black pepper. All right, so I've got the sauce basically created. Spend a little bit of time making sure that you mix it well. This is, this is important. And the other thing that you're going to want to make sure you do, especially if you're doing it on the microwave, because your microwave may get very hot and you may have hot spots. So you may want to watch it carefully and stir it on occasion. So you get that nice creamy texture or you may want to reduce your power outage on your microwave so this actually says microwave on high for four to five minutes until thickened whisking halfway through so this is what it should look like before it hits the microwave and off we go i'll be right back so the meatballs are out of the oven as you can see, they're cooked, but they're not um, brown or anything. I just know that they're cooked thoroughly through. I've just loosened them off, of course, with my saute spoon, which is so handy because it's got that nice edge here. So it's not built like a spoon that only has one contact point. So it, it is really good for getting things off your, your tray. And I've got our rosé sauce, which has been cooking in the microwave. It is sweet and sort of saucy. And now it's just a matter of putting them together. I'm going to toss them to make sure that they're, they've got this sauce on them. And I'm, I, because everything's already warmed and heated, I'm just going to... rolling in the sauce and I'm going to serve this over a pasta. Now when I first made these at my season launch, I served it on pasta and the thing about pasta is if you put your sauce on pasta noodles, it, it just absorbs. It like It's like a sponge. So this is a modification because I know that my meatballs are not going to absorb all the flavor from the rosé and there is still going to be lots of sauce. So when I put it over top of fresh cooked al dente pasta, the sauce and the meatballs are going to just fit perfectly over top. The last little bit that I'm going to do before I put it in the oven 
is I freshly grated some Parmesan cheese. Everything's always better with a little bit of Parm. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top. Probably like a couple tablespoons. And now, just know that this multi-purpose or the round steamer does go into a convectional oven or into the microwave. Your choice, as long as you don't go over 425 degrees. So there's my cooking class. Make sure you grab both these items. It's the Italian meatballs and the rosé sauce. Thank you so much for watching. I'll snap a picture when it's all done. Take care and we'll see you again another Thursday. Bye for now.